And the situation in the public health sector already reeling from a prolonged doctor strike could get worse. Now, this is after clinical officers and nutritionists announced they would begin their strike tomorrow. Now, they will be joined by morticians, meaning services at public morgues will also be affected. Now, all that as doctor's strike entered its 78th day with no solution in sight. For 78 days, doctors have kept off public hospitals, leading to a paralysis of services. And now other health professionals want to follow suit. Those people we were negotiating with who represented the employers, they have betrayed us. The Kenya Health Professionals Society, an umbrella of 18 professional associations, among them clinical officers, nutritionists, morticians, laboratory technologists, plaster and dental technicians, are demanding a health workers' service allowance and an emergency call allowance for clinical officers. From tomorrow, to put enough pressure to the employers by picketing and also by peaceful demonstration so that the employer can be able to honor the part of the bargain. Business will not be as issue until we get both the agreed allowances in our February salaries and with arrears from January this year. The association announced the move two days to the lapse of the seven-day deadline given by the Court of Appeal for negotiations over the doctor's pay dispute. Parties in the dispute are yet to agree on a formula to end the doctor's strike. The Law Society of Kenya and the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, which were directed by the court to spearhead the mediation process, have since Friday held meetings with representatives of the doctor's union, the Ministry of Health, and the Council of Governors, but are not making any headway on the salaries issue. The government is sticking to its offer of a 40% pay increase, but the doctors are adamant. They are demanding the implementation of a 2013 collective bargaining agreement, which offers them a pay increase of between 150 to 180%. The parties in the mediation are also yet to reach a consensus on whether or not doctors on postgraduate training should be paid. Doctors' union officials want them paid a call, house and commuter allowance. Seven union officials who had been jailed for contempt of court were released by the Court of Appeal last week pending the hearing of the case. Parties in the dispute are due back in court on Thursday. Rita Tinina, KTN News.